I got a 5'7 is sitting right up in my bag I'm moving this way, I'm moving it fast, I'm moving it fast And I get back track, no, I don't know I wanna run, but I don't even know where to go I'm out here dressed like a motherfucker up in that motherfucking sky Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a beat like Yeet, in FL Studio, but we're gonna be using all stock plugins. And you know what? I'm gonna throw a timer on the screen and we're gonna see how fast we can do it. I'm thinking, what, maybe 10 minutes? So yeah, before we actually jump into this video, basically what we're gonna be doing today is just making a beat for Yeet, in FL Studio, all stock plugins. And I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how I would go about making a beat like this if I had no other option but to use stock plugins. And of course, before we get started, all the sounds I'm using in this video for the drums are gonna be available at quindibaba.com. They are from my cyber drum kit, which looks like this. So if you want to grab that, it's always available. Link down in the description below, which greatly helps support the channel. And also, if you enjoy this video at any time at all, go down and hit that like button for me. And also, hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay tuned for more videos that are soon to come. And if you want to, follow me on Instagram. Great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And also, I do have a Discord, so you might want to join that. Let's jump in the video. All right, and by the way, we got that red light in the background. We got our uh, La Twizzy mode going, you know what I'm saying? We're going to... Alright, so I don't even know where to start this. Oh, I guess we gotta pull up that timer. I'm gonna type in stop, stop watch, stop clock. What the fuck? Uh, clock. Let's open up the clock app. Stop watch, and here we go. See how fast we do this. Alright, so I'm just gonna open up the three times oscillator. Pretty sure this just. Yeah, see, this just sounds like a wave. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring this up to like one. 47 and we're gonna go to the scale highlighting so we get a view the highlighting right here and we're gonna go to b natural minor just one of my favorite scales working and i'm just gonna start off with let's see something like this and then i'm gonna raise this up an octave and we're basically just you know what i don't even know the music theory behind this but making something that sounds cool let's see Yeah, there is a perfect chord progression right there. Definitely get that E feeling. I'm going to try and explain this for you guys really quick, but we do have the timer running. So basically what I was doing here, you go to make a normal triad, starting right here. Usually what you would do is, like I said, we have the scale highlighting on, so you could just skip one note in the scale, go here, skip another note in the scale, and go here, and you get a basic normal triad chord. But if you bring this down a semitone, you're flattening that chord, and it makes the entire chord sound a bit more like eerie and hard. And then what I was doing is just inverting this and bringing it up an octave. So then you get that. And then I was basically just strumming these or making like an arpeggiator. And now what I'm going to do is just try and add some kind of melody on top. Oh, that's perfect. All right, now we're going to bring this into... Mix track and we're just gonna EQ it a bit and add some effects. So we're gonna start out with an EQ. Shape that sound a little bit. I'm gonna actually grab a Fruity Blood Overdrive. And we're just gonna color the sound. And let's add a Fruity Reverb. Maybe like a Fruity Flangus. All right, we got our basic chord progression down. So now we're going to go into auto gun and just try and pull up something random here. And I just have my MIDI keyboard over here. I'm going to play some stuff, see what we find. There we go. This should be a good lead sound. That's perfect. Uh, let's see what else we could get in here. All right, so I pulled up this plugin called Sim Synth, and I just got like a bass. So we're just gonna try and lay something cool down here. We go 
it. Now we got a base down. All right, then I'm just pulling up GMS here, and we're going to see what we can find. Honestly, I've never used this. So I don't even know how you... Ah. Ooh, they have bases in here. I might switch this base out, actually. <laughs> Let's clone this and then I just really want to find a pluck. So let's see. Um, let's try something with this. All right, so I like this, but I just want to add uh, some more of that delay. So let's see. Here's the echo. More of that. All right, I'm actually going to duplicate this um, GMS again, and we're going to go into the leads, and we're going to see if we can switch out this lead. I don't know if I like that anymore. That's pretty hard. I like this. There we go. All right, let's get the drums going. So, like I said, I'm going to be using Cyber. All right, so we're just going to start out with, uh, let's go with a snare. are pretty much done and we're gonna grab this 808 called church my kit we're gonna turn this pretty much all the way up and then we're gonna route the drums over to the mixer you do that by selecting them all for the mixer hit control shift l perfect and we're just gonna grab this 808 i'm gonna add a fruity fast distortion turn it to a we're gonna bring the pre up the mix down thresh like right here that should be about good <laughs> This 808 right here, route it to the same track. And what we're gonna do here, go to this part and just take these out. We can add some kind of 808 here. Make sure we're on cut itself. So that's the whole beat right there. I actually really like how this turned out. It's a bit different, but unique. Definitely took a lot longer than I expected just because of how long it took to do these 808s. I was really just trying to figure out how to get them to hit different with that distortion, but I don't know. Whatever. Turned out good, so you guys know what's next. I'm going to arrange this real quick, and then we're going to do a little freestyle. So, so without any further ado, here's a little freestyle. I know what I was. I came from the bottom. Now I'm at up. I make a lot of money. I believe drugs
fan of this shit, yeah. I might have to go rewind on this bitch. I might pull up outside, out back. I'm in the back of the back.